third video so a, a bit yeah. right on hey run Zach here back with another video so today i'm going a uh, slightly different style of recording is about a uh, vlog type so i will be changing some of the parts of my bike and i will take you through this process so the bike that i'm working with today is a uh, cam neon sora uh, it's my bike that i'm using right now uh, not much modification has been done on this bike except for the tires maxis pursuer for front and back and also the maxis lightweight uh, tube to save some weight also i've done the changes on the stem to fit me more because the previous stem was around 80 mm right now it's a 90 mm and also the handlebar tape so it will be interesting to find out what does it feel like to have uh, carbon parts on this bike the first part that i'll be upgrading today will be the stem from Tosic. this is uh, aluminium plus carbon all right then after that uh, others will be the handlebar also from the brand Tosic. this is fully carbon next will be the seat posts also from carbon carbon material also from the brand Tosic. and lastly will be from Tosic as well the saddle also carbon saddle so basically the aim of this upgrade is to save some weight right now my bike weights around 9.6 kilogram so hopefully we'll see some weight reduction after the upgrade uh, actually I will be doing continuous upgrade for this bike to to see the weight reduction that I can, can do so in future I will be changing some other parts more so do check out or subscribe if you want to see more video like this with that let's move on to the upgrade let's go Okay, so we have my bike here right now go through one by one i've changed the handlebar the stem and also some spacer around over there which is also carbon all parts from directly shipped from china including the saddle and the seat post so now the total build is around uh, 9.1 kilograms but i'm hoping to reduce it to below 9 kilos so it will be interesting to see uh, what I can do with the wheels right now the wheels that I'm rocking is uh, alloy wheel which weighs around 2.2 kilograms without the tire and the tube so just the wheel itself is already 2.2 kilograms so stay tuned to find out uh, what it feels like to try off um, carbon tires yeah it would be interesting to get my hands on those so here you see the handlebar and the stem so how does it feel to ride with this carbon handlebar when compared to my previous handlebar is I can feel the road surface is much more smoother uh, the vibration is lesser compared to my previous handlebar and it's also significantly lighter almost half the weight from my previous handlebar and here is the stem 
unfortunately actually the stem is much more heavier compared to my previous stem it may look like carbon but actually it's not carbon it's just uh, another alloy stem but coated around with carbon and i've also replaced the spacer over here and here is the saddle so the saddle is also made of carbon quite solid so this saddle weighs uh, almost one third compared to my previous original stock saddle uh, you may think that this saddle is, will be very harsh for your buttocks but actually it's quite comfortable because uh, the curvature here just nice fit and I like the fact that this have a hole over here to relieve the stress or pressure for at your unwanted area then we have the seat post over here okay the seat post is also from the brand Tosik quite light uh, not too hard also and quite stiff I didn't feel that it's flexing or something like that so it's quite okay for me as well and a bit of weight saving then while replacing the parts after a few days I've tested my first ride after that ride I also received uh, another parts which I waited quite some time and which is the skewer many people don't know actually the, the stock skewer is actually quite heavy so the skewer that I got right now is around 40 grams my previous skewer cost around 110 grams which is significantly heavier about 70 grams more so right now this is lighter okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video more like a vlog style video casual talking with you guys and the things that i changed on my bike so if you find this video helpful give me a like consider to subscribe for more content like this and hope in the near future that i can get my hands on a carbon wheel set and then to see what kind of new performance that i can gain from changing stock wheel set to a carbon wheel set okay see you guys next time remember eat sleep cycle ride on